I have a question. Why do Warner Brothers suck? Seriously, they're the worst. They just did two things. They messed up the Hobbit movies by making it into a trilogy. One book into three movies. Jesus Christ. And what's worse, not one of those three movies ever got across the message of the book. Secondly, they messed up the whole DC Extended Universe. So much to the point where they're restarting it again. There's still people petitioning for them to restore it. Yeah, now they're, they're backed into a corner. Now, this one isn't as bad. Dune. What is Dune? Dune is the biggest sci-fi epic. It's the story that inspired... Hang on just one second. It inspired this. It inspired this. And last but not least, it inspired, voila. Yeah, every single one of the writers and filmmakers of them, the authors of the books they're based off, all came forward and said, Dune was heavy inspiration for all that material. Anyway, for the first time, it's finally getting, oh sorry, for the first time, it's finally getting a good film adaptation. Yeah, it actually had an adaptation before. It's actually had a few, but film adaptation anyway, in the 80s, it sucks. It, it really, it, it sucks. It's made by David Lynch. He's one of those people, he has a very unique style. When he approached that film, he wasn't interested in making a book adaptation. He was just interested in taking his style and taking that material and just creating something unique out of it. But the studio were like breathing down his neck all the time. And yeah, that's what happens when you have a shitload of studio interference and you don't come to a compromise or an understanding. Yeah, you get that movie. It technically had all the stuff that was in the book, but nothing about it felt natural. The acting was bland and it was so jarringly paced. It was just, it's not a good movie. This time they have a way better director who was absolutely up to the challenge. They've got the budget got an amazing cast just watch the trailers guys they're, I feel like they're showing the right amount you'll be surprised to know I actually have read the book yeah and god it, it, it nearly crippled me it's like it it's so long and there's so many words in it that I don't understand thankfully there's a youtuber called comic book girl 19 she did a dune club where she read the book herself and I'm like Ah, so that was how you said that word. So it's Atreides, not Atreides. Uh, there's, some, there's many more, but I thought that was the, the funniest one. Dune is about the spice melange. It's the most powerful substance in the entire galaxy. And there is basically war over who takes ownership of it. The main character is Paul Atreides. The, the Atreides family are the rightful owners of the spice melange. Whoever controls Arrakis, that's where the spice is kept. Whoever controls Arrakis, they control the spice. Whoever controls the spice, controls the universe. And you know, it's also the story about the Chosen One. So yeah, good old chestnut. Now, the reason I made this video is because there's something we need to talk about. There's something we need to discuss. Guys, when this movie comes out next week, you need to go see it. And when I say go see it, I don't mean download it or stream it at home. I mean, you literally have to get out of your house, go to the cinema and watch this damn thing for so many reasons. As I mentioned earlier, Warner Brothers are the worst. Why are they the worst? Because for one thing, Denis Villeneuve made the decision to split this book into two movies. At first I was disappointed, but then I was like, you know, it actually makes a lot of sense because it's a very long book. There's so many characters, so much happens in it. The other books get shorter, so I don't think they'll do that for all the movies. But this particular book, yeah. A two-part adaptation, probably not the worst idea. But why am I mad? Because Warner Brothers, for whatever reason, would not let him shoot the two of them back to back. They are going to wait to see how this movie performs. Then they're going to decide whether or not they'll greenlight the sequel. Again, the Hobbit movies, three movies off one goddamn book, and they let Peter Jackson fill them back to back. 
It's so stupid. Could you imagine if, when they split the last Harry Potter book in the two movies, could you imagine if, when we saw Deathly Hallows Part 1, we had to wait like a whole two or three years for Part 2? It, it's ridiculous. It, it's so stupid. And so far, the only criticism I'm hearing of this movie, it's getting great reviews, great early reactions, but the only criticism I'm hearing is that it only feels like half a movie. So yeah, if you guys don't go see this movie, there's a chance the movie might underperform, and yeah, we might not even get the second half. So I just thought I'd uh, come on and warn you about that. As I said, this new movie is directed by a guy called Denis Villeneuve. He is a fantastic director. So far, he has not made a bad movie. There's only one movie he's made I still haven't seen. That's called Enemy. Anyway, he made Arrival. That was my favourite movie of 2016. It was such an original science fiction film. It's creative and everything. And Amy Adams is amazing. I love that woman. And a year later, he made another film called Blade Runner 2049. This movie, again, freaking fantastic, but it underperformed. And you know something? No Time to Die just came out. Awesome Bond movie, and that underperformed. So now that really, really does have me worried. Guys, the cinemas are back open. Please go back to them. Please. I don't think they're ever gonna, they're gonna close down. Like, there are still enough people that, that will go to them but come on guys I shared a post recently a man said something so clever it's like trying to watch Dune on your TV at home is like trying to ride a speedboat in your bathtub like yeah you're not damn damn right it is just one example um probably not the best example but it's the only one that comes to my head because I was just thinking of Daniel Craig does anyone remember the movie The Golden Compass that was a book adaptation. That's based off a trilogy of books. And I didn't I actually didn't mind the, the, the Golden Compass. I thought it was it was decent, but I wasn't grabbed by it. But either way, when that movie underperformed, the movie ended in such a way like, you know, you gotta watch the next film right away, but the next film never got made. It's been nearly 15 years since it came out, and still no sign of that sequel. Yeah. I'm not saying Dune is going to end up in that same situation, but it's just, it's something to think about. So yeah, the point of this video was to remind you what Dune is, why you need to see it, and why Warner Brothers are just the absolute worst. Thank you for watching, thank you for your time, and please go see Dune! I've said this to one or two people. I think this could be the new Lord of the Rings. I do. I really do. I think, for one thing, the book came out in the 60s, and I have no doubt in my mind, it was definitely, one way or another, it was inspired by Lord of the Rings. In fact, in a way, the movie's kind of like Lord of the Rings in outer space. That's why I believe that. I just, I just have that feeling, you know? That's why, again, this is why the movie cannot underperform. There is way too much potential. There is way too much at stake. I said that to someone recently. I think this could be the new Lord of the Rings. Do you know what they said to me? No way! We're going to see Frodo again? That's all. I just realised earlier on I may have given people the idea that I'm not a David Lynch fan. Make no mistake, I love David Lynch. The point I was trying to make was he wasn't right for that movie, which I think even he knew himself because he's ashamed of that movie. So that's what I said by getting... A way better director. A director who was up for that particular job. Okay? Good.